you should only focus on things that you can actually control. Well, and that's everything that's about to happen. Take a couple of breaths. One of my goals would be to make it to F1. Right now, I'm just trying to do my best in cuts. Just stay relaxed, just clear headspace. Karting's a massive part of the New Zealand motorsport culture and it's where all of our future stars have started. I prefer to stay at the track, stay focused on racing, set some goals, you know, focus on the future. To be the 2022 Car Stars Champion, drivers will have to compete across five premier events from City of Sales in Auckland, to CIK Hamilton, down to Harvest and Marlborough, to the National Sprint Championships in Palmerston North, culminating in the grand finale at Sulphur City, Rotorua. The winner will earn themselves a test day in a Toyota 86 race car. Auckland is in the midst of a state emergency after torrential rain caused widespread flooding. A deluge that will go down in the record books as Auckland's wettest day ever. It became clear from Dominion Road to Eden Park and out south, Auckland had been plunged underwater. This weekend's been uh, pretty crazy for the team here at Cartsport Auckland. I don't think the committee here has had a whole lot of sleep. They've been up all hours and night pumping water off the track. An incredible effort by the team and to be here racing today is pretty incredible. I think I might be one of the youngest in the field at 11. So there's quite a lot of people older. If you do anything that they don't like, they'll do the exact same back to you or worse. Junior Otax is our class for 12 year olds through to 16 year olds. It's really the proving ground for the next future stars of karting. They move through our younger categories from the age of six and then get into this class. It's a really competitive class and a big part of our sport. Without karting I wouldn't be a racing driver, that's for sure. So I think it was a really, really important part of my career. I started go-karts when I was seven years old and I raced till I was 12. So a reasonably short karting career. The, the good thing is in New Zealand, you can sort of go into race cars quite early. I was never from a karting background. It was actually my, probably my best friend in preschool and then into, into primary school was Matthew Payne. He got into karting before me and I went and watched him and that's when I realized that I, have to, I have to do this. So now he's obviously supercar driver. It's pretty cool for both of us to start where we did and both be sort of doing cool things around the world. Very, very high level here as well. The toughest would have been going to junior Rotax. I did just over a year maybe of juniors before I then left. Well, we're not far off qualifying for Rotax Max Junior. Been a great old morning of practice so far. You know, the guys are standouts as always, the one NZ of Kian Burt. Matthew Johnson in the 48 cart, Raymond Malin in the 34 cart, and North Island champ Ashton Phipps. Always ones to look out for, we're expecting big things from these guys. Qualifying up first, then we'll have some heat races, then we'll get into the first of our pre-finals for Rotax Max Jr. Pre-final sets up the grid for the big finals later on this afternoon. 36.816 was the qualifying time for Kian Burt. Only two tenths off though than the 69 of Marco Manson. Fantastic performance to get up to second place. This is his first outing in Rotex Max Jr. Done a great job to put it on P2 ahead of Ethan Church and Matthew Johnson and Malin. Some fast guys behind. Let's see what Manson's got in the heat racing. I was thinking more top 10, top 15, but I proved for myself wrong. The first heat, I had a bit of a bad race. I went from second to 18th from the start, but managed to make my way up to 10th in the end. Driver in front got a pushback, which is a five second time penalty. Hopefully in the final I can improve and not make any mistakes and hopefully get top three. Start of this year, it would be eight years since I started racing. Go Ash. Go Ash, good boy. 
Oh, Randy, guys. <laughs> Check and play for Ashton for first race. Last year we had a pretty good year. We came out with the two North Island titles for Junior Rotex and Vortex DBS. City Sales last year was a bit of a, what could we say, a bit of a challenging weekend. A couple of incidents. And then CIK, we did good, finished second in that one. And winning both Rotex and DBS would be nice. It's going to be hard, but I think we can do it. I was quite small when I moved into Rotex, and I actually still have pedal extensions now. I have the seat quite high, and the pedal's like quite close to me, but I think when we go to seniors, we'll probably take the pedal extensions off. I'd like to podium the Kart Stars series. I've never won anything bigger than like club champs so a podium would be nice a win would be better but I think racing Ashton and Kian it's a bit hard but we'll see in New Zealand motorsports you know quite big for the size of our country there's normally quite a bit of access to that from karting and so either Formula Fords or 286s or even to stay in go-karts and go and compete in Europe and things like that so it's really cool that we have that um, accessibility in New Zealand doing championships in, in karting, like this kart style series that teaches guys to be consistent over a championship rather than over a weekend, and because that's all you're going to be doing when you go into whatever career path you want to take. I really like karts. I don't really want to go to cars, but I, I do like the speedway side of things. I'd like to drive a midget when I'm older, but I don't want to give up karts for it. I like karts, it's really fun. It's so low to the ground, and the, the sense of speed, I guess, it's... It's just where it's at. Yeah. We've always had maybe a better setup in the rain. Maybe the car just works better in the rain, but I always seem to go further up the field in the rain than they do in the dry. At most tracks, I want it to rain. Just looking out the window here, is it going to be wet for the final? Is it going to be dry? It's 50-50 at the moment, but now it's posed a real problem for some of these mums and dads setting carts up. It's going to be a headache. Some love it, some hate it. Those that love it, if it's wet, It'll be all on for them. I got my sister and my brother in there, and granddad, and then we've got a friend of ours, and then my dad. Hold it down so it doesn't spill well, not necessarily like no brakes, but like, yeah, they they weren't working as they should. Ryan Bell in fourth, in fifth, in Devon Taylor. Okay, hold it down. Yeah. Combi's on the way. If I went in hot, I'd said to maybe just... I thought I thought there was something wrong with your brakes because you were coming in and it was kept overshooting the corner. Yeah. Really like that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. But she's good now. Yeah. Cutting is all fun and all, but I think my ultimate goal would be in Formula 1. But maybe V8 Supercar is, is a bit more realistic. Yeah, I'd like to head there when I'm older and hopefully move the cars maybe in the next year or so. Here we go, folks. The first of our finals for Rotax Max Junior. Lights out. Here we go into turn one. Keep an eye on this is where the action happens. Bert on the outside. Oh, Matthew Johnson's been tagged and turned around. There's chaos at turn one as everyone drives past. Johnston's gone to the rear and Phipps and Bird have skipped away now. Off to the lead with Malin in hot pursuit. Slippery, greasy conditions, grey sky. A bit of rain falling here and there. Johnston, we talked to him earlier, he said this was what he was hoping for, a bit of wet weather. Probably didn't anticipate getting caught up. Down at turn one, Death Valley. The number four of Amelia Carter, also doing a great job, one of our fast females. That's Sam Thompson having a good old ding-dong battle with Joel Lammers from Australia, one of our Aussie visitors this weekend. He's really making some moves, Matthew Johnston. Matthew Johnston, the man to watch at the moment, carving his way through the field. Just got to stay positive and 
go forwards. Keep your head down and get straight back into it. The 69er Manson gets bombed down at turn seven. No change up the front for Phipps. Back to Kian Burt. Ticket flags out, waving, it's a win for Ashton Phipps. Second place is gonna to go to Burt. Third is Raymond Malin. South Island champ Arthur Braun's got himself up to fifth. Matthew Johnson, sterling drive from rear of field, will come home in ninth in the 48 cart. So after the first round here at Rotax Max Junior, it's a mixed points system where you get points for pre-finals and finals rather than just an overall win. So the points look like this. North Island champ Ashton Phipps takes the round with 50 points. Second place goes to Kian Burt. Then it's Raymond Malin back in third on 45 points. Matthew Johnston with a horrific start to his final has ended up in fourth place though. South Island champ Arthur Braun will come home fifth. Then it's Ethan Church, the local man. Can't wait to see you all down in Hamilton for the round two of the Cart Stars series.